Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back for another brand new video. As you can tell by that deliciously clickbaity title, I have finally found something else to upload to the channel during an international break. To be fair, I have been requested quite a bit to look at some of the lone players and sort of do a review. It's, it's sort of a weekly review, but I just don't have the time to sort of do that. So I thought, you know what? It's an international break. Everyone's bored stiff waiting for Rangers to play again the famous. So it says, let's finally do it. Before we actually get into that, though, if you can make sure to smash that like button. Don't be lazy, lads. You've all been slacking lately, all right? It just takes a second. It's a wee gratification to me. I look at them and be like, oh, they appreciate the time and effort. So... Smash that like button, lads, eh? Didn't he be a fraud? So, we've actually got four players out on loan, obviously. If you didn't know, their name is... Joe Dodo, Harry Forrester, M-O-H, or Mick O'Halloran, and obviously... Hello, darkness, my old friend. Andy Halliday. Um, so... A lot of you guys have been giving your opinions on who should come back. MOH will be giving a chance. I've seen all that. So it says, let's give it to the Rangers fans. I threw up a wee bit of a poll. Again, we're not all Rangers fans. I need to keep addressing this in case people cut me out of context. Uh, we're just a small minority, but let's give it a go and let's see what you guys are actually thinking. Um, I'll just give you a quick wee update before I actually tell you the terms of the poll and give you my opinion. Now, the four of them, I was actually quite surprised to see how little they've actually played since the start. Um, especially Andy Halliday. He's only been uh, played three times at his club. Which is obviously away at the other end of the world um, in a very, very poor league. And he's only played three times. He's been in the match squad 11 times, which is again great. But again, he's not coming off the bench. He's only played three games. Three games. It looks like he's done. Um, so a lot of you guys might be saying, oh, it might be well over there and he can come back. He's only played three times. They've seen enough of him. I believe he played in the first two matches and then he's not played since. Uh, he got one other substitution appearance, but there you are. So that's a wee bit of a shame for him. Um, moving on to the next one, you obviously have uh, Harry Forrester, who's been scored the last, well, a couple of weeks ago. You just saw on Twitter, I'm posting up for one button. He's actually been involved uh, 11 games. Uh, he's played all 11 and he scored one goal. So he's the most productive out of everyone. He's played the most games. So he's actually the most match fit out of all of them. And obviously, again, he's chipped in with one goal as well. Moving on to the next one, it's going to be Joe Dodo. Now, he was another one of these guys that scored on their debut and we all had laughs about it. There was this kind of run where Barry McKay... Um, Gardner, Waghorn, Forrester, um, I believe even Clint Hill. You had like everyone we actually sold or given away or loaned out scored. So that was during his little run. But actually since then, it was quite surprising to me. He's only played five, eh, four other times since that day where he scored in his debut. So out of 11 games, he's only played five, but he has scored one goal, which was on his debut. Uh, moving on to MOH. And MOH is quite uh, a touchy subject just now because a lot of people have got vicious opinions on MOH saying, the jersey's too heavy for him. Mate, we were playing him right back against Mullerwell. Aye, but that doesn't matter. Shh. Jersey's too hard. Jersey's too hard for him. Alright? You. He's playing right back at one point. Nah. That's why he's not scoring. Um, so he's actually played... Uh, he's obviously going to be the better one. Everyone sort of knows that. He scored five goals and he's only played ten games because he has uh, had a couple of injuries lately and he's currently injured just now. So he's got the, obviously a 50% goal scoring ratio because he's playing more up front. He's not playing right back or anything against Mullerwell. Um, he's actually playing up offensively now. We've actually got a St. Johnson fan who's been keeping us really updated and he's started off red hot in form but he's been getting niggling injuries and that's been sort of impacting his play. He's not been able to finish 90 minutes quite a lot because of these injuries so hopefully he can get over them. So that is the four options. Out of the four lads, I'm going to be honest with you, it's definitely no him. Alright, if you can't make it in the Qatar League, that's a sign for me, to be honest with you. Um, sorry, sorry Halliday, I love that you're a Rangers fan. We all, we're all Rangers fans, you lived the dream. Unfortunately, it turned into a nightmare. Uh, moving on to the next one, it's not going to be Harry Forrester as well. Even though I did say five players to deserve a chance, I thought he was definitely one. I think he prefers it down there. He's actually playing really good football. I've had a, week, a look at like, his stats and his assists, pair assists and all this stuff. He's actually playing very, very well down there. So I think he'll end up staying there. I don't think he'll want to come back up. Joe Dodo is someone I'd like to see be given another chance because I think he's got pace. And he's got a wee bit of skill, so he could take some on. But if I'm going to be honest, lads, if I have to pick one player out of the four, it's the one that's left. Um, it's going to be Michael Halloran. That's who I'd take back. Give him an opportunity. Didn't play him at right back against Mullerwell. Give him a chance to play offensively like he does for St. Johnson. We've never played him in that position. We've never played him in behind the striker or as a striker. Not once for Rangers. So how can we judge him? When he's been given an opportunity, he's got a 50% goal score ratio. I'd give him a chance. And also, good thing about Michael Halloran is he is actually coming back uh, at the start of January. So is Dodo. Um, that's basically it. So that is the four options. That is my first choice. Uh, who's going to be you guys that's watching the video just now? Get involved. Get the comments in. That is why we do these videos. To get a bit interactive. To show there's a place on the internet where you can just come and say your opinion. Um, before we actually move on though and move on to the sponsor break, I'm going to be honest with you lads. 
I made a technical error. I went to Spa instead of Asda and they never had any iron brew in the, on sale. It was like way too expensive. I'm like, I'm not paying that, mate. I'll just go to Asda. And then I was like, mm, can't be bothered going to Asda. What else you got? Red Cola. Let's go to that stage, lads. It's on the Red Cola. International break. All the money's gone. There's no Coca Cola anymore. There's no iron brew. We're on the Red Cola. Special price, £1. Pound. Um, so yeah, sponsor break! <laughs> back from the red cola sponsor break so let's read out some of you guys opinion on twitter before we finish up today's video so i um, still got three minutes left but you know yolo and um, so i fired up saying out of those on loan which one would you like to see given a chance under the new boss again lads well done it's only been up 57 minutes and it's got uh 337 votes so i'd like to see 337 likes come on you know what i mean if you've done it it's you it's letting the channel do not me i'm doing my bit um so let's see so forrester gets 13 percent. i can't expect that Dodo only got I am twenty one percent. Halliday got twenty five percent. And MOH kind of ran away with the poll, so they've kind of wrote, <laughs> they've ran away with the poll, taking forty one percent of the vote. So they've kind of agreed with me. Let's read out some of their comments now. So Ross Watson chips in with seriously Halliday. I think there's a player in there. And Matty Taylor responds correctly. Says we're going to get blocked for saying Halliday. Yes, you are blocked. Bye bye. Stevie Brown chips in with, has to be Halliday for no other reason than to cheer you up. And now we have our CDM, he might play more attacking and, oh god. Halliday up the field, oh no. Who would you drop for him? Holt. Uh, Matty Taylor chips in, oh Halloran never tried. Dodo was a hit or miss. Forrester wasn't good enough. Uh, Halliday, even though I know what you think... He would try his best. I'd give him half a seat. He'd try his best. Remember what he'd done against Celtic? Da, 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 da. Just jogging back, not even tracking. Uh, like, what's his name? The guy with the frog eyes? McGregor? I'm sure that's it. Or that's just been... Ah, yeah, I'm sure it is McGregor. I mean, he just like... Da, 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 just let McGregor run on. Doesn't he try? All right. Uh, Scott Young chips in. Maybe Forrester, because he was okay on his day. He can do his job. But apart from that, they're all wank. Andrew Wilson went for Wall uh, Forrester. I thought he was really good and he wasn't given enough enough of a chance. Same for Dodo. MOH has been good for St. Johnson and returns in January. Dylan Sharkle O'Halloran has has done well at SD for St. Johnson. If he was correctly, he could be he could be goals. I wish we didn't sell Barry McKay. Oh somebody kill me, please! Somebody Goodbye, my love. Uh, I thought I would have picked him. Yeah, yeah, me too, mate. I didn't even bother putting that up there. But that's going to be the video there. You can see what they're thinking. So make sure if you're watching this video on YouTube, just get involved. Flood it. Let me know what you're thinking down below. I've been CJNovo992. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye.